And welcome to your Gold Market Update and Charts of Interest for today, Friday the 17th of March 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Of course, we saw a strong session in the US overnight with indices closing near the highs as various moves were made to stabilise the banking sector from Wall Street. Uh, we saw the Nasdaq outperform again up almost 2.5%. Uh, U.S. futures are slightly below neutral early Asian trading, though. Generally positive. Now, the ASX paired its early gains to trading in neutral, but we are noticing, as we're recording this, that it is starting to rise again. So at this stage, it's around about 0.3% of the upside. So it's obvious that significant caution remains, possibly due to the fact that it was last Friday that we saw the Silicon Valley Bank issue commence. Uh, European equity futures are pointing to a positive open. Uh, we saw the VIX drop, but it's still very volatile and it's still over the 200 MA. So it does suggest that there's still quite a lot of anxiety kicking around at the moment. So the US dollar index is slightly weaker overnight and that's started neutral in Asia. We're starting to see particularly the Aussie dollar do quite well against the USD this morning. Gold is trading around about 1920, so fairly comfortably over that key psychological 1900 level. And we saw copper and oil both breach key levels over the last couple of days, they're both held well last night. Bitcoin is choppy, but is retesting that 25,000 resistance. It is actually over that at the moment. Around about 25 and a half in today's trading so far. Looks strong in Asia today. And next key level on that is around about 28k. So certainly some interest coming back into cryptos generally. On the data front, we've got UK consumer inflation expectations. We've got Eurozone CPI and US consumer sentiment. The highlights, but of course, markets are going to remain highly sensitive to anything that comes out of the banking sector. And so treat today's market with caution. A couple of charts, of course, are on today. Uh, we've already referenced the Aussie yen. You can see there, uh, this is where we opened in Asia this morning. A little pullback initially, but now we're getting some buying pressure coming into this so Aussie strong against the US and the yen on this chart possibly a move up around about 40 pips up to test this R1 pivot level at around about 89.60 so that's certainly one to keep an eye on now on the ASX uh, we're still quite like in zero if we just bring this in a little bit you can see this was a level that we got very excited about it breaching a few days ago and it's Continuing to move up, not with any great strides, but enough to be noticeable. Uh, we had a close near the top of the candle yesterday after a retest of that resistance and an update. And we look as though we're doing exactly the same today. So we open, we test the resistance and then we move higher once again. So still some buying coming into zero and that's encouraging uh, should you be in this trade. And certainly this 93 level looks like a reasonable target in the short to medium term. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.